The Bayelsa State Government has been asked to identify genuine farmers in the state and make loans available to them. This is in order to stop the importation of food from outside the state and also create jobs for the growing population of unemployed youths in the state. Details in this report. This is Nimbin local government area of Bayelsa State, which is believed to have one of the largest mangroves in the Niger Delta. Behind the mangroves is massive land fertile for the growing of cocoa, sugarcane, and other crops. But these lands are only being cultivated recently through self-help. Biosans are thought to be lazy and unwilling to work, but this farmer has a different point of view. He says farmers are struggling to get access to loans to support their businesses, but that government loan only gets to those who have no farms. From the starting of this farm, my farming business, there's nobody has come to my rescue or to assist me in finance. Some other farmers are right there suffering the kind of suffering today. But the, the loan they are giving, they are not giving to the right persons. Government is giving loan to farmers, but they go, they now go and show you small area or because uh, you have political father, you go and give your son or this thing to give him. Yes, farmers are plenty. Like if I, now, if I don't bring you to this place, you might not even know that this is what I'm passing through. People are like that. We are not lazy. So I am giving an advice to Nigerian youth. Let's stand up and face our farm business because it definitely, uh, formerly, we, this farming that we use in feeding like the whole of Nigeria. There are other environmental factors to deal with, occasioned by gas flaring and crude oil pollution. And the government is called upon to address these issues. By essence, are also advised not to abandon their traditional occupations, which are fishing and farming, and to stop the dependence on government alone for jobs. Mostly the oil part, the, when, when they get, when oil is pure, the smoke, from here to Nembe Creek is not too far. Speedboat is 20-something minutes drive. We will get to Nembe Creek where the oil, oil is booming. We have about uh, four stations right there. The smokes, when sometimes rain falls, you see the smokes. The smokes will fall on top the the, the crops. You see them, so that is a challenge mm -hmm. by air. That is unrest. So when you get some kind of some kind of now you see the crops will come down a bit. Nimbe man occupation is farming, but to forget our our farming business going to different oil business all these things. So I now stood up as a man to say, this is our route and I have to go back to it. So that I was build, I have a hotel. I was building a hotel. I abandoned the hotel. I said, let me come up with a farm so that if this thing motivates me, it will still motivate others to encourage them to stand firm to do farm work. The Bayelsa State Government is also called upon to invest in agriculture to help cultivate restiveness among young people. Just CSA plus TV News.